What are we getting all dressed up for? I've been up since 7. I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm just tired. I know, I know. Just go along with it. It's only for a little while. Try to be gracious. Ooh la la, Jack. Terrific. A surprise party. Jack, I'm uh, really bushed. Could we do this some other time? We deserve something special, Ryan. Come on, relax. We're hammering ourselves into the ground for a long time. Yeah, and if anybody oh, deserves a little... Oh, do <laughs> <laughs> whoa! <laughs> deserves a little party, I think that it's us. Don't you ought to celebrate our good luck, if you like? Uh, luck? I feel as though I've been through Blender. Good, then a little champagne will do wonders for you, won't it? Champagne's Here. gonna wipe I me out. I want to give a little toast to the most successful hunters of cursed objects in the whole wide neighborhood. Uh, sorry, uh, we're closed. I have come to return something that belongs to you. Take it. Hey, come back here. What is this? He sure knows how to make an exit. Let's take a look at this. Egyptian canopic jar, is that what this could be? That's exactly what it is. They use these to preserve the internal organs of the mummies. All right, that's the easiest we've ever got anything back. Hand delivered, no less. I'll, I'll go put it in the vault. Mickey, you want to give me a hand? It's getting crowded down there. Yeah, but you carry it. It's funny. I don't remember this entry. There must be hundreds of strange things in there. Jack, you can't remember everything. And no customer's name. Oh, you all right? What happened? The air broke. Guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning. Let's just get to see the ball. See what I mean? The place is a mess. Well, let's start by putting the lighter things on top. Light? Are you kidding? This thing's a dead weight. What's wrong? <laughs> Rashid, thank God you're in town. How fast can you get over here? What's happening? I don't know. Such a great idea. You saw what the doll did last time. We sold it to this family. It's our responsibility.
Check over there. Fine, I'm here! Oh my God. What happened? I don't see the doll anywhere. Where's the... Yes, we need an ambulance. Uh, 33 Downingham Way. Look! Here she is! Don't... Wait! Um, uh, yeah, sorry, um... Uh... at your house last night. You know why I'm here, don't you? You want to take Vita away. No. I don't want to take Vita. I have to. You better go away. Not until you give her to me. Exactly what has happened? I'm not even sure. Yes, someone delivered a canopic funerary jar. It was wrapped in this. And then somehow the jar became opened while Mickey and, and Ryan were putting it down in the vault. Then all hell broke loose. They're sealed in there with that thing. Jack, this is Old Kingdom. Perhaps 5,000 years old. What did the jar look like? Well, it, 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 it was uh, green. Uh, the stopper was the Anubis-headed guard. What can we do? Anubis? It may be too late to do anything. What the hell is that? Ultraviolet light. Thought you were going to use magic. You use what you've got, please. Yes, there, there. Amon? Phtah? Hotep? Horus? 
the hawk-headed god. Horus. Souls escort through the halls of the dead. Yes. The jar, it was open? Yeah, there was some kind of green gas coming out of it. I thought so. Natron. The salt solution used to preserve the bodies and the organs of the mummies. Are you certain you cannot open the vault? Of course, I'm sure. I did everything possible, Roshi. Jack, there is a legend, it, a translation, really, of the glyphs from the temple of Amun-Ra, which describes the fate of those who breathe the fumes from a canopic jar. They are condemned to experience an epic death dream in which they relive the most horrifying experiences of their lives. And then? This nightmare continues over and over and over until the terror causes their hearts to burst. How long have they got? Well, let me see. From the time they breathe the fumes, four hours. About an hour ago. I go until midnight. Hi. I couldn't get to a phone until now. I was worried. I didn't know what happened to you. I had to go with them or else they would have gotten suspicious. Why don't you come over? We'll spend the rest of the night together. All right. Did you get back to Cupid? Yeah. I'm so glad. See you soon. I love you. Be a good fellow and just run along and let the little lady and I have some fun. You leave her alone. What are you gonna do about it? Eddie, Eddie, put down the axe. You want it? Come and get it!
Jack, we are invoking some very powerful beings here. If the mixtures are not perfect, or the spells go wrong? Yes, Rashid. Beyond the ken of man, entombed in chambers of stone, let the antiquities awake in the name of Potek, Aladek, Mindonor. Let the walls tremble and all spells sunder. Keepers of the seventh gate, I command you, open! Less than three hours before the curse kills them. What else can we try? There is one thing you can do. Send me into their nightmare. You have to. They're dying. You of all people should understand the danger. You have never traveled in this dimension. It could be. what will happen if you do. I know what will happen if I don't. I really appreciate what you're doing. Yes, yes. You just relax. That's something you city folks never seem to learn. That's it. You just lay back. I'll take care of everything. There's a dead girl back there. What'd you do? Well, I didn't do anything. You're trying to steal the secret of the luck. And you killed her to keep her quiet. Oh. 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 
No. Say goodbye. Recruit is sensitive. All right, all right. The conjunction is coming. Now, the atomy. Now, drink it and hang on. Something is trying to get through. <laughs> Hello, Jack. I wish I could say it was good to see you. Lewis! <laughs> Romeo Dunham. My niece and nephew are paying a price for interfering, and it'll keep on until they die. Then the forces of darkness will take over this door, and once again, Satan's toys will flow across this world like an unholy tide. Sweeping everything before it. Not while I'm alive. You won't be alive, Jack. Don't you understand? You'll be in hell, taking my place. And I'll be back behind the counter. I sent you to hell before, Lewis, and I can do it again. I'm not going back. You fools! Do you think you can stop me? I'm sure as hell gonna try. We have work to do. Rono Bispilfagior, foul spirit, I adjure thee, be gone! Well, that won't keep him away for long. Oh, hurry, damn it, we haven't got much more time. The Metron gas provided them a bridge to the netherworld. But we, we must find another way in. Really think you could stop? 
stop me. Don't you know who I am? He with the power to give life and take it away. March 1947, Volume 1, Issue 1, Tales of the Undead, the first introduction of Ferris the Invincible. You know that's my favorite. What do you think I'm showing it to you for? <laughs> I got it at an estate sale. They had no idea what they had, but that's not the most important thing. Take a look at who signed it. Jay Starr, is that for real? Yeah, sure it is. <sighs> How much you want for it? Hey, I'm selling it at auction. You know, the big one the Briggs is holding day after tomorrow? You stay right here. I'm gonna go home and bust open my piggy bank. You got that much in your piggy bank? Man, I'm in the wrong business. See you later. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Damn it, punk! You leave that alone! Let go of me! Oh, I'm gonna have it! You just bought yourself a lot of trouble, punk. All right, you want it hard? I'm calling the cops. This is where Satan holds sway. Well, I've faced him before with less to lose. Without you, remember, he will do everything in his power to turn you from your task. He will attack you where you are most vulnerable. 
through your love. If he succeeds and Mickey and Ryan die while you are still in their dream, I die with them. When you are in there, you will find a barrier. If you can cause them to, to disbelieve, to turn away from the dream, perhaps you can break down the barrier and get them free. This is the only chance you've got. But Satan will try to tempt you, to turn you, to twist you. Remember, Jack, Satan will not fight fair. When did he ever? Well, it's time. friend. You won't want to part with it. But first, you must become one of us.
him under the cape. Don't let him go. Get away from him! Take She, Jack has died. He just took a wrong turn. The demons are tormenting his soul. You're next. The psychic link between you and Jack is going to kill you, Rashi. Hell must have made you slow and stupid if you think I believe that, Lewis. Just step outside the pinnacle and I can save you both. No! Ryan! What is this? It's a dream! It's only a dream! Listen, Jack. You were right. That wasn't your son. And I didn't want to do that to you, Jack. Ricky, Ryan! You want to save my niece and nephew? Then change places with me, Jack. And I can end all this in a moment. No deal, Lewis, now or ever. Lewis burns for eternity. Or longer. Jack, are you all right? I saw Peter in there. Who? My son. 
No, he needs to be alone. I didn't know he had a son. Yes. What happened to him? Peter? Peter was a gifted psychic child with an infinite capacity to love. He tried to help a young friend, a girl, who the doctor said was insane. But Peter was intuitive. He knew that in reality she was possessed, so he decided to help her. While reading one of Jack's books, he discovered the existence of the dream plane. So Jack knew where to find us. Yes, but Peter was only 12. Can you imagine? Only 12 and all alone, he penetrated the barrier and entered into the mind of this tormented girl. But he was not prepared. He had no psychic anchor. And so, he died there. He never told us. No. He wouldn't. Well, at least we know it's over. Over? Your Uncle Vondry still wanders the netherworld. You may have to deal with him yet. No matter what we have to do, we're never gonna let Lewis come back. <laughs>